right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like that video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23, man, y'all might as well just get used to the two-a-days and stuff like that, man, because look, I had a whole nother video for y'all set up for the day. It was going to be, uh, you know, we obviously we had to do what's in the background. You know, we got the whole 2K23 uh, my player joint it, it was released today and all that good stuff and i was gonna come back and do a reaction video on how the community itself how they how they really felt about it because it's mixed reviews and stuff like that but then then the boy mike wong started tweeting i said he started tweeting and you know what i said i said yes sir let's get it i'm with it let's get it so what we're gonna do is man we're gonna go through some of these tweets and we're gonna just look at some of the stuff and check out how it goes. One thing I will say about this, man, the game does look better. I definitely see a graphical improvement, but I just wonder, are these what they call bull shots or whatever? Like, not bull shots, but have they just increased the graphical fidelity for the sake of the cinematic uh, shots or what have you? Is this really what it's gonna look like in game? Because I'm not gonna lie to y'all, these screens, these scenes do look good, but you know it is what it is. Also, man, make sure y'all like the video, because every time y'all like the video, not only does it help us get closer to the also oh coveted 100K, but you like the video, comment below, first, second, third, whatever, it don't matter what you put down there, you can put Gemstar down there, anything. You're entered into the drawing for a chance to win a copy of NBA 2K23. So make sure y'all do that, man. But um, like I said, man, every time y'all like the video, it helps us get closer to a whole so her coveted 100k and without further ado let's get this video underway now as y'all can see bro i just got out the gym and stuff like that man got my better sword and sorry shirt on you can you can get that at our uh, breeze tees but we ain't got time for none of that oh watch your head watch your head uh look this is what we on today man the boy mike warm in tweet and here we go we just gonna go like, we just gonna go down the list, man, of what he talking about. And he talking about some stuff, so we gonna put it in dark mode. And then we just gonna go like that, man. Dark man X style. Here we go. All right, so boom. Mike was just talking. He just talking in general, and then he started answering questions. So these are the tweets that he said. A lot of people ask what three-point rating is needed to be consistent in NBA 2K23. It depends on what you consider consistent. Your shot selection and stick skills, uh, but, but, your shot selection and stick skills. But, oh, he's saying that you need your shot selection and stick skills to be to be, um, to be, be consistent. But if you plan on shooting a lot of threes, I personally would try to go mid to high 80s at minimum. Mid to high 80s at minimum in order to hit. Sleek, 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 sleek. I mean, it's always been that way. Uh, 2K20. I was able to get away with a 72 three ball all year, but uh, people had floor general, so that brought it up to like 74, whatever, 76 maybe. And I was able to get away with that, but I promise you, when I was below 72 or somebody didn't have floor general or something, I noticed it right away or whatever. So, hey, it is what it is. Um, I was able to shoot, I always been able to shoot in every 2K. We gonna figure out how to shoot in every 2K, but you know it is what it is. But uh, then he also goes on with the next joint, and then he just says, uh, but, some of you sweat. He talking about me. You ain't gotta talk about me like that, man. You call me that. We, we, we home, boys. But some of you sweats will probably be able to get by with 70s. Uh, either way, be prepared for a tougher shooting year than last year online, at least until you get your ratings uh, and your badges up. And then, so, you know, Badge Plug asked the question. I think this is right here. Yeah, Badge Plug. So he said, what do you think the park is is that what he said right right there i want to make sure we got everything okay it says at least until you get at least until you get your ratings up and badges equipped so how much does it change when you're badged out you can't leave us you can't leave us on that mike you know what i'm saying so he says even fully maxed out field goal percentages should be significantly lower than what we saw in 22. A lot of people complain about sniper, a lot of people, so, so just get ready to miss some shots, man. But obviously we know if it goes too low, come on, bro, we, they, they gonna fix it, man. It is what it is. And then somebody says, don't fold under pressure. Uh, either Mike, make us work to be better instead of just giving us the easy route like last year. I ain't gonna tell you that last year was the easy route, but I will tell you this, uh, NBA 2K21, that was tough. I, 
tough, but not impossible is what I want to do, man. I don't want it to be impossible to shoot. If you had a 70, anything on 2K20, 2K21 current gen, and you didn't have a zen, you weren't hitting the shot. Even if you had a zen, you probably were missing 50% of the time, so it didn't even matter. So what people did, they went to the, uh, uh, conversely, if you had a 90 something, it you notice no change. You can literally shoot the ball with your eyes closed. Brute went and made another dude. I mean, like that shooting with his toes and stuff, man. Like, it doesn't matter, you know? Like, you can just literally shoot blindfolded with your left pinky toe, and uh, you can just throw the ball up there if you had in the 90s, so. Uh, it, it is what it is, man. So, you know, it. we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't think folding under the pressure is the thing. I just feel like make it harder, but don't make it impossible. And make it harder the right way. Make it harder across the board. Make the green window smaller across the board. But if you got 99.3, your, your green window is this big. And if you got 70, then it should be this big. But if I can hit it, I can hit it. Not make it like, like, it was 70 and it was random like you 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 just couldn't hit it It didn't matter what you did you weren't shooting consistently so you know it just is what it is um up next bass plug says what do you think the stage uh, stage slash park slider difficulty will be close to this year and he says it has its own slider set but it's closest to hall of fame so the parking stage they say it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be hall of fame he said what about 5v5 pro-am he said also hall of fame so um and the OG Grandmaster Sensei come and say, so Hall of Fame sliders nerfed, <clears throat> so Hall of Fame sliders nerfed now, or it's completely reworked. This would be a W, but I can't believe it's Hall of Fame online. Cause we already know that the stage is on Super Rookie, is, is below Super Rookie. So like, like you got, you got the regular stuff is Super Rookie, and then the stage is below Super Rookie. It always has been. He said that was that's always been the easiest sliders in the game or what have you. And then the next thing, it was part, then uh, then you had rec, and then you had pro uh was the was the highest difficulty that we played or what have you. So you know it is what it is, man. But hey, he's saying this year, stage is not gonna be on super rookie but uh, sub super rookie anymore. It's gonna be closer to the Hall of Fame. We gonna see, but obviously we know that they have to make affordances because when you're playing online versus offline. You got a lot of latency and people, if you, they tighten up those green windows that much, people weren't making any shots at all. Uh, let me just see this. Mentality says, have you fixed con the contested shot system in NBA 2K23 is the same as, two, uh, as 22 or back to the original state, like 20 and 21? And they said the contest shot, the contest system is pretty different from both 20 and 21. Uh, what the game considers open versus yellow versus red contest is somewhat similar to how it has been in the past. But shot windows narrow much quicker in the yellow range. Uh, like I said, I'm cool with that. I just the only thing I don't like is when you're wide open and somebody jumps at you. Like you got a you in the left corner and a center is on the the right elbow and he jumps at you and and get, gets a contest and there's nothing you can do about it. But you know so. Can you compare the contest and so Swante OG Grandmaster Sensei said, can you compare the, the contest system to uh, to Gen and 2K? I heard it's like uh, 2K21 current Gen, which I don't think that would be such a bad thing if it was like that, man. It is what it is. The boy Dialwork said, we not gonna know what the builder looks like until we load the game up. Fizzo says, not only that, we don't even know if it if there are hidden gems like plus fours to physicals with gym rat or plus one to overall after reaching 95 overall. I've been asking Baluba for almost a month every day to see if he will give us some insight because those things matter when we go to make bills. And uh, Mike just responded to that. He said gym rat is plus, plus four to physicals and accessory boost return uh, so we're talking about accessory boosts. He's not talking about the boosts you gotta buy. He's just talking about accessories. You can put on plus one uh, three ball for your, you know, the sleeves and stuff like that. You know, for the shoes and all that good stuff. But he says uh, plus accessory boost return. But other than that, the caps you set in the builder are what determine your animation unlocks and the badges. And then somebody says, what about takeover? Does takeover work the same way as last year, where ratings fluctuate as meter increases? And are their rating boost in takeover? Are the rating boost same in takeover the same as last year? And now uh, Mike says yes. Takeover is tuned 
differently this year, but the core of the system is the same. Ratings drop if you go cold. Ratings rise if you get warm. And you, and you get an extra boost when you're in take. Takeover perks are returning also. Biggest change is the new team take design. And I'm with that, man. The new team take design, I think that's dope as heck, man. Um, it's one of those things where I, I got tired of people, you know, I, I get five block shots. I ain't touched the ball all game, but I get five blocks. And now, now everybody got, we got team take, and now I'm really not touching the ball until for the rest of the game. It just is what it is. Every center feels my pain. Two or three blocks and five rebounds, and you ain't seen the ball all game because you, all you're doing is getting board, getting the block, getting the board, and launching that bitch down court. And, and guess what? Once you get team take, your ass really ain't seeing that rock no more. So you might as well just stay on the defensive end. It is what it is. So, but so so it's gonna be good, man, because not only that, but you won't have teams that just got a center, and the center really really is sucks all to be and and he just getting stuff, and then they getting team take. And then, you know, now I'm on the perimeter as a lock and I got to defend somebody who didn't even earn the take. So that's going to be dope. And he says, um, so Tatum says, Baluba, <clears throat> as Swanze would say, Appaluba, it's the mashup badge also similar to the mouse in the house from 2K22. And he says, mouse in the house has been rolled into the master badge. And then what about Grace Under Pressure? I'm assuming that's part of the master badge too. Grace Under Pressure is also rolled up into the masher badge so you know we got some stuff like that man and uh you know he didn't respond to anything else so we're gonna roll on to the next thing and uh he says richard richard mcclean says at baloo but when the ball is about to go in of wait i'll go go out of bounds will we be able to save it and throw it back in uh in in rec and regular nba games i, I don't know who asked this but hey he asked it yes huge improvement in save ball reliability compared to previous years. And then, uh, you know, um, Swante says, that's good. We never seen that in these recent 2Ks. Yeah, you, it was really hard to say the ball, man. It's like, like really what was happening, you just run out of bounds and we just had to call time out. That's your only hope to say the ball back then. So, you know, it is what it is. Badge it, plug it, or should we say wedge it, plug it? What do you think? Oh, he already asked that. What do you think the stage is on right there? And, um, and then also, so he says, uh, so he also answered, he says, uh, what do you think stage is probably difficult going to be closer to? It has its own slider, but it's closer to Hall of Fame. What about Rick? Walk on Rick is closer to Superstar. So Superstar, uh, so Rick is, is going to be a little bit easier. So walk on Rick is, is not Pro-Am. It's just not Pro-Am. Uh, that's what he's saying. He says, uh, you know, maybe I'm reading into much, much too much into it, but what about what is Walk On Rec? Said, don't read anything into it. Walk On is just the internal name we use. Y'all know it used to be Walk On Rec. It used to be Pro Am, and then so it used to be Pro Am, which was Team Pro Am, and then it used to have Walk On, and uh, that's all it is, man. But now they just call it the Rec Center, and then we they separated into Team Pro Am, so that's all it is, man. Don't don't read too much into it. Pull up jumper, step backs, fadeaways were really good and realistic in NBA 2K22. Boy, you telling a goddamn lie. But uh, but when used correctly, okay, I take it back. You're not telling a goddamn lie. When used correctly, it was it was realistic, but that's like midis and stuff like that. Have they been tweaked in 2K23? They still are very effective, essentially in the mid range with midi magician and space creator. So again, once again, it's one of them things where they couldn't take it out of the game. So like I said, they assigned it to a badge and attribute. And so you're gonna have to unlock it. They're saying it's gonna be much more effective in the mid range, but uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. All right, so up next, let's see what Wadgy Plug had to say. What do you think about it? We already talked about that, the park stage difficulty, but somebody came down and says, is 6'5 considered small? And Baluba says, no, 6'5 is the minimum height for swings. You gotta be 6'4". And then he says, wait, so for clarification, does that mean you can't make a point guard taller than 6'4"? Am I reading this wrong? Sorry if it's a dumb question. He says, you can still make oversized point guards, but you have to be 6'4 to get the small guard animation. So that's dope right there, man. Hey, it is what it is. Uh, you know, another another year of the little people, man. Leak, 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 leak. Hey, hey, it is what it is. Y'all go watch that, watch my boy Swante, man. That dude hilarious, bro. Uh, it is what it is. With real player percentage being out of the game, will we have time? Will we have to time our layups? And he said, layup timing is still optional, but I highly recommend enabling it if you're comp. 
and then he says a real player uh, a real player free throws gone and he says real player free throws are gone online but you can still use them offline if you want iPod King Carter said let's let me start practicing on these rec runs <laughs> for these rec runs is what it is because a lot of people have been using the uh they use the free throw thing. I never really use it because I don't trust it. Man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I used real player percentage one day. I missed a jump shot at the top that I knew I would have made wide open and we lost the game because of it. I turned that I turned that off and I ain't never use it again, bro. I can't, I can't, I just can't put my put my live not my livelihood, but but my ancillary income into the into the computer's hand. We I missed a shot at the top that I normally 99% of the time I would have nailed that shot with my dude with an 88 with an 88 three ball and he smoked it and after that I went out of the event center I turned that dang I turned that damn uh, real player percentage the off and I was good man I ain't never used that again but hey if you use it I ain't mad at you man do what you got to do all you got to do is put a fingernail in their face and they gonna smoke the jump shot anyway so it didn't matter to me uh, but he said but I highly recommend you know if you're comp so if I'm if layup timing is on and I time it horribly will I still make all the, the layups uh, that I would with real player percentage on meaning layup timing is is just a boost and he says no you will miss more layups with bad timing than you would if you turn layup timing off but you won't blow wide open layups anymore even with bad timing and with layup timing on you'll be able to make a lot more tough layups that you normally would miss with real player percentage. I, I think we just don't even worry about it, man. We just don't take layups unless we're open. Like that's 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 how we're gonna solve that one. That's how I'm gonna solve that one. I don't know what y'all gonna do. I just don't take look, I don't try to lay the ball. I never went in there thinking about I was gonna lay that ball up anyway. I'm trying to get on that rim like Nike say, I'm trying to get on I'm trying to get on that mother rim. Like, uh -uh. That's what I'm trying to do, but you know it is what it is. Up next, we got um what are your favorite improvements for 2k23 and said my favorite thing is probably the shooting skill gap second might be controllable rim hangs on new gen like we said man that's the most fun you can have in 2k man my boy man man grind hard somewhere smiling his ass off right now because he already know the most fun that you can have in any 2k is getting on that rim that is what it is man it is what it is and then your boy said when well, we talking about rim hangs now we talking about rim hangs, man. Hey, it is what it is, man. Up next, Baluba, in your opinion, driving layup 85, uh, 85 plus is the best, is it best to have layup timing on? I feel like we missed a lot of layups last 2K with high ratings. And he says, definitely try both, but you'll have a way higher ceiling with layup timing on. Also, if you're making a slasher, you might want to practice skill dunks. You can't, you can do a lot, lot of damage if you get good at both things. And I mean, I mean like I said, man, y'all never want to be one dimensional, man. Come out there, be two dimensional at least, and do your thing, man. Y'all never want to just be a one dimensional player or whatever. But I would say try both. But I mean, if you take good layups, I don't even feel like you need to have it on, man. Because to be honest, they either gonna slap that out of there or you gonna make the layup. And that's how it's been in 2K for the last ride. And honestly, the thing, the reason I never turned it on with the layup timing was because sometimes you'll go up there, you try to dunk the ball, and then he'll go up in a layup animation, and you got, you really got no chance to make that, make that. So I'm gonna leave mine off. I'm just, you know, what I'm saying I'm tuck mine in, but you know it is what it is. Will interior defense be buffed this year? Paint mashing over overhauled, I mean overruled interior defense ratings last year, and Mike says from all of our inten internal external play test sessions i'm pretty confident that mashing is dead if they still if they still uh is an exploit we'll patch it and then uh mike scott says does mid-range rating correlate to the post phase rating he said post shots correlate to the distance you're shooting from so post phase post phase come from the low block uh from the low block of close shots and then deep fades uh, are your three pointer in your mid range, uh, your mid range setting? And then uh, Braden Cox says, "Can we expect to make bills that are evenly spread to do multiple things uh, with attribute point system? Will we fall into making role players and have to work as a team?" And, and Mike said, "I see it going both ways. You can spike a couple of towers and be great at a few things. Choose to be more well rounded and just good at everything." I think teams that build that build role players 
and work together will be more successful than a team with do-it-alls. But I'm just speculating. I mean, I'm play. I always make a role play. It's three and D. They don't do but two things. Do you think the sharpshooters are really? Do you see the sharpshooters will be great this year? I felt last year since everyone could shoot, sharpshooters weren't really necessary. Sharps going. Sharps are going to be very important asset this year. Trust me, a lot of people are going to struggle to shoot. And uh, you know, like he said, up next he said uh, somebody says, what about making center bills with a 75 three ball? Can it can I be effective with that more or less? And he said stretch bids can be very effective. 75 might be a little low, most people for most people, but if you're really good with your timing and take wide open J's, you can be a threat. I ain't trying to be no threat, bro. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to knock down all my shots, bro. So you know it is what it is. My boy Al Samurai, he got a reply from Baluba. What is your favorite layup package? And did MJ get an upgrade to his dunk package? He said, my favorite layup package are MJ Book and Rack Levine. Magic and uh and magics are pretty epic also. So you know you say, hey my boy Al Samurai, big shout out to Sam, man. Y'all go check him out, man. That's my guy right there, man. Uh, you know, up next. Like I said, we just going through these tweets, man, and then we're going to be up out of here. Is the build of this year current, uh, for current gen going to allow us to use sliders for more physicals like next gen? And he says, the current gen builder was built off 2K22 next gen builder. So, I mean, he really didn't answer the question, but, you know, he just said, what's the difference between the builders? And Mike didn't respond to that. So, you know, he's just talking. And then, like I said, the rest of it, man, it's just, it's just the same thing. Uh, what he said, but this is one of the main thing, even with the maxed out bill, field goal percentages should be lower. I just want to know exactly what does that mean, man? Like, like exactly what is he trying to tell us there? Is he telling us that, that it's going to be way tougher to shoot across the board? Or is he just saying that, you know, eh, you know, just, 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 just wait and kind of see. I'm on the wait and kind of see board, but last but not least, man, we got, Hey, Baluba, are you still rewarding bad defenders for leaving their feet on pump fakes? And he says, we made a change to where if you bite on a pump fake, there's a cool down timer on landing, during which it's much easier to get blown by. I ain't even mad at that, bro. We've been needing something like that in the game, man. But so like I said, Mike talking a lot of good, uh, he talking a lot of good about this game, man. I mean, I'm thinking, like I said, Ronnie told my boy T. Misley, this is either gonna be the best 2K or with all the changes, it's gonna be the worst 2K just by virtue of the changes. But, and then I, I hit him with an interesting point, but they didn't change, they didn't change this year and it still was the worst 2K. So, I mean, it is what it is, bro. You can, you can, you can go, you can go the same route and you can have a bad 2K going the same route or you can go your own way, go your own way. And you can go your own way and we can see what happened, man. We gonna see what happened with this. I just hope everybody gives it a shot and I hope it's not like 2K21 current gen where they tried to make a game that was more difficult and then end up failing miserably and it just ended up being a zen fest. I really don't want that to be the case. So they gotta make shooting with the sweet spots. You gotta be able to shoot the ball. And uh, like I said, man, it, it really doesn't matter because whoever can shoot the ball, that's what everybody's gonna go toward. Like if it's if it's, if it's it's just a sharps game, it's just gonna be a sharps game. You're gonna be whatever, it's gonna be whatever sharp can play the most defense unless locks are really that overpowered. It's really just gonna be whatever Sharp can play the most defense. That's gonna, gonna run the game. It's gonna be just like 2K19. That's how it was. And uh, you know, 2K20 was how it was too in the match. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Like I said, Mike talking some good shit, man, but we just don't know how it's gonna work out. Hopefully it's gonna work out great, but uh, we gonna see, man. I will holler at y'all next time, man. Till next time. And go back and look at that short, man. It ain't but 19 seconds, man. It's an old man. It's an old man, 49 plus dunking, trying to get back in the gym with them weak ass legs, like Juice would say, and them naughty ass knees. But anyway, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, man. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel.